responsible for public transport and roads infrastructure in the province of Gauteng. Um, and let me just uh, say to you, I'm joined here by the CEO of the hospital. Um, <clears throat> the reason why I came here um, is to visit um, the hospital to check on the patient who is admitted here following a um, the fire that caught uh, Patkopas uh, on Friday and um, it was very much important for me to to visit the patient that is um, admitted here I am told that uh, other patients have been released and uh, we will be making follow-ups to check uh, if indeed all of them have been released, if there are still any that um, um, we, we might have to check. But I must say that um, I have seen the patient here and uh, the patient sustained um, injuries from the fire and um, uh, smoke inhalation. And um, I must also say that um, um, the injuries are uh, very serious and um, I want to convey my full support and solidarity uh, to the patient um, and, and wish uh, a speedy recovery. Uh, the patient is still uh, in the youth age, uh, still a young person, a female, and um, we, we're looking forward to have been released uh, from um, hospital and joined the, to join the family. Um, and of course, uh, I must also uh, take this opportunity to convey um, on behalf of our provincial government of Gauteng, our condolences to all the families uh, of, um, that lost their loved ones, six of them uh, who lost their lives in this um, accident. And um, those who have been released from hospital, we also want to convey our message of support to them and our solidarity and, of course, wish them very well. And um, the third point to make is that um, as the provincial government, we are deeply uh, concerned um, and, of course, very worried by what has happened at this stage we are aware that the police are looking into the matter of what has happened, but um, we believe that the uh, SA provincial government and, of course, the Department of uh, Roads and Transport, we should also conduct our own investigation. So to that extent, we will be appointing um, an independent investigator, uh, of course, supported by a team of fire experts who will establish the real cause of the fire. We have not received any preliminary reports about what could be the cause of the fire itself, which has led to loss of life. Uh, we have come across information that uh, the Patco Bus Company has appointed their own um, independent investigator. Um, but I must say that um, Whilst we acknowledge uh, the fact that PATCO has appointed their own investigator, but uh, we believe that uh, we can't leave this matter to PATCO. Uh, we must appoint our own investigator and uh, uh, who will conduct invest investigation and give us information that will be shared and be given to all the families so that uh, the families can also get uh, all the facts and all the information and be able to uh, ensure that they get all the answers that they require. We are aware that um, um, this type of information is critical for the families to find uh, permanent closure. Uh, without it, it will be very difficult. So whilst PATCO will conduct its own investigation, of course, the police will also look at the real cause of death and also investigate the fire. But as a department, 
we also believe that uh, we should conduct um, and, and appoint a, an, a, an independent investigator to do the investigations on our behalf. And um, as I said, information from the police, from our investigator, from the investigator of um, uh, PATCO, all the sources of information will be able to give us better sense of what really led to this um, fire that caused tragic loss of life. Um, and of course, at this point, we wouldn't want to speculate on what could possibly have happened. Uh, we just want to leave this to experts who will be able to test, verify uh, scientifically all the information and all the aspects of this. And uh, it is on that basis that we'll be able to implement the recommendations and take forward whatever that will come out of the report. We believe this is the best way to deal with this matter to know the truth, nothing but the truth, and that is what will help. So um, let me um, just say we will also be working with the families. Uh, we will be working with the MEC of the province of Mpumalanga, uh, where most people uh, reside, uh, to also visit the families um, in Pumalanga, to also explain to them our decision to conduct um, our own investigations for the benefit of the families, to support the families, to give the families uh, proper information. And um, anyone with information will be able to approach uh, uh, the, the investigator we have appointed to give information. And we call on members of the public, people who saw what happened, to be ready to give information uh, during this process of investigations. And it is only on the basis of that that we will implement appropriate action, tested, uh, based on information, verified, and uh, that will stand the scrutiny if placed under any scrutiny. That should briefly conclude what we think should be a better way forward on this matter. If there's any one of you would like to ask me a question, M feel free to ask me. MEC Aviwem Dila from ENCA. Um, have you had conversations with Badko in terms of what happened, what led to this? I mean, it's two days later. Surely they should have given you indication of what caused the fire. And um, just generally, have they indicated if their buses are safe? And also Moloto Road seems to be um, a scene of a lot of accidents. Do you understand what causes these accidents? Then? So firstly, let me confirm that uh, I did call um, the management of Padco. Uh, I raised two issues with them. The first one was to establish what are they going to do, and they indicated that they are appointing their own forensic investigators. And uh, two, they actually indicated that um, they've put a team together to work with the families to support the families. Those are the two things that they've indicated. With respect to what would have caused the fire, uh, I would not want to enter into what they think has caused the fire and start to because they say they are appointing an independent uh, investigator. We are appointing our own investigator. In a matter as sensitive as this one, uh, there shouldn't be uh, facts or information that could end up going out, which has not been tested or verified, and then things change later. So I prefer that at this point we allow um, ourselves the opportunity to appoint an investigator. PADCO has done so, and um, we will be able to make an announcement at the most appropriate level because facts not tested, not verified by independent people, we could find ourselves um, you know, already um, talking to the site of PADCO. And that's not what we want to do at this point. We want to speak to information that has been verified and tested. So with regard to their preliminary report, I have not entered that space because we don't want to be creating confusion when the real facts come out. So I did talk to them, and uh, as I said, we will um, engage our own experts on fire matters of this nature to tell us what happened whilst we will also study carefully the report of PADCO.
uh, NEC Palung Yellow Boy from News from Africa. It, it affects NEC. It affects. This is the second incident involving a Paco bus bursting into flame um, I, 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 this year. There was an incident in March. Unfortunately, there was no one, uh, or, you know, there were no passengers on board. So you're saying that you, you've appointed, you're going to appoint these investigators. When are they going to start with the job? When are they going to start? There has to be a time frame here, uh, uh, MEC, because Paco buses are still on the road and some pe people use them every day and you can't have a situation where MEC bus is packed with people burst into flame killing people. Yes, yeah, so with respect, can I just conclude your initial point? There was a part I didn't answer about um, what could be the causes of um, accidents on the Moloto Road. Uh, so two issues here. The first one is that um, Moloto Road is on record as a notorious road for accidents. A lot of accidents have happened on that road. And I think it's an established fact that the condition of the road uh, itself, uh, carry, including the amount of volumes that passes there. So the solution, part of the solution, is better infrastructure improvement of the, on the road. Uh, so that's one issue that we're looking at. That's why as a province we took a decision to hand over the road uh, to Sanrao as the road uh, crosses three provinces, Limpopo, Mpumalang and ourselves. And uh, to that extent we're looking forward to the process of uh, Sanrao to fix the road. So, but again, uh, better law enforcement, better driver behavior, um, those are factors as well that need to be improved on that road. Um, the issue of the time frames, yes. Uh, tomorrow, remember that with us, when we appoint a service provider of any kind, there are supply chain processes. Okay. They should be followed to the end, because if we are going to be doing an investigation of this issue, and information come out, and then it later turn out that we didn't follow due process in appointing uh, people to investigate for us, that will cast aspersions on the integrity and credibility of the investigation itself. So tomorrow, which is uh, Monday, we are kick-starting with um, appointing the investigator. By Friday, I should have appointed the investigator because this is an emergency and uh, subject to it being confirmed because we know what also emergency uh, procurement can do. It normally gets into trouble. So whilst this is a matter of um, uh, death of uh, people. We have to do it fast, but we have to ensure that the process itself is credible in the manner in which the, the, the people are in. So we are starting tomorrow, and we should do it quick and fast. The second part to your question is with respect to the um, frequency of accidents on the road. Uh, I mean, with which uh, oh, the fire, fire, yeah, yes. Um, so let me just say, the first thing is, when I was immediately appointed as MEC, there was a month in 2019 when there were lots of accidents on Moloto Road involving um, Patco buses. We had a meeting with them, and we agreed on what they should do to improve, um, um, you know, driving on the Moloto Road and on their buses. The information we have thus far is that there was an improvement, particularly with accidents. Uh, collision and all that. Now, the issue that we are going to be looking at as well, starting this week, working with our uh, investigators, uh, is to look at what should be done um, to prevent an incident of this nature. And we will also have a meeting. I'll have a meeting with Patwa to say that uh, we shouldn't have, whilst, of course, issues of what sparks and causes fire themselves remain very uh, complex, but I will have a meeting with Patco to discuss uh, the fact that we can't have their buses on the road if there are frequencies of uh, fire happening. So that we will discuss, and we will also get a professional advice on how to deal with that issue here and now to prevent any further such incidences. But Patco itself, we have a contract with Patco. Part of their money they get it from us, part of their money they get it from 
uh, people pay. So, so we will also um, engage them on that point for the benefit of the people. And uh, I think we should be able to reach an agreement with them on their passes catching fire. So what we will do is also to get a report on the last incident and then also the second one, and both should be able to tell a pattern or a, some consistency of what exactly is causing this. So we'll also look for the report of the last incident uh, with this investigator that we're appointing, which will then indicate a pattern or a trend. So that is going to help us a lot. And uh, with that, we will be able to take some preliminary action. So, yeah, I think that... Uh, so we will make an announcement once we have um, appointed uh, the investigator. Would it be extreme, MEC, to suspend their operations? Do, do you think it's worth suspending their operations, and considering just, the fact that, I mean, people have died? Just to add on to yeah. that, MEC, in the conversations you've had with Badgo, do you get a sense that their buses are safe? Can you um, give uh, commuters assurance that Badgo buses that will be travelling in tomorrow will be safe? Uh, let me say that uh, any action that we will take should be based on some um, concrete evidence. Um, that is why the investigation that we want to do should be able to help us on a course of action to be taken. And in the meeting management that we will have with PATCO, we will check with them what assurance based also on facts can they give us that their passes are safe. So we will also engage experts to make a scientific determination on that issue. So that is why the best approach to what happens here and now and whatever announcement that we can make should be based purely, strictly on professional information and data. Otherwise, it will be, um, it, if it's tested, if it's challenged, uh, it will not be able to stand the test of time. So allow us to engage part court, to appoint an investigator and to get professional advice on how to deal with this matter and the current situation, and then we'll be able to make an announcement. Those going to work tomorrow, what do you say to them? Should they get on the PADCO buses? Those who are, I think the best announcement to make now is that PADCO, because they are running this bus company, yeah. they must make sure that their buses are safe. What are you saying to the community right now? That the is the people that will be traveling with PADCO buses tomorrow, and I think the question so, is, is yes. asking the MEC is very important. And one of the things you are doing as, as the Gauteng MEC, you want many of us to use public transport. What yes. is it then that you are saying to the people that will have to hop onto these buses tomorrow? So the call I'm making is that PATCO must ensure that people are safe. And if they don't, as government, we will take harsh action against them. That's the point we're making. Thank you very much. Yeah. And I'll also challenge PASCO to make a public announcement to the travelers tomorrow. They must say something on the buses that they run, own and operate uh, on that issue. So that's the point we're making. Thank you. Thank you. Any question? Thank you. Thank you. Any further question? Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very Thanks much. a lot.